If you're curious about the NASIS Mentor Program, this is the video for you. The program was born from the organization's commitment to providing professionals with resources in navigating the early years of cartography and beyond. In this video, we will briefly review NASIS, then share all the benefits gained by participating in the Mentor Program. Then, we will review the Mentor Program pairing process and what's involved when committing to the program. After which, we will define the roles and responsibilities of both the mentor and mentee. And finally, we'll highlight the resources available to participants. NASIS stands for the North American Cartographic Information Society. The society was founded in 1980 for specialists from private, academic, nonprofit, and government organizations whose common interest lies in facilitating communication among the mapping community. That is, if you love making maps, talking about maps, or just looking at maps in general, welcome home. The mentor program was established for many reasons, including two of NASIS's objectives. One, to improve communication, coordination, and cooperation among the producers, disseminators, curators, and users of cartographic information. And two, to broaden opportunities and inclusivity for underrepresented and historically marginalized groups within the society. At the heart of any program created is the why. Why have a NASIS mentor program at all? That, my friends, is because of all the benefits. Mentors, mentees, and the organization as a whole will receive large benefits from the program. Mentors benefit from volunteering their time and efforts in many ways. First off, you'll have the opportunity to give back and nurture the growth of the NASIS community and its newest members. You will also be exposed to new ideas and interests from the up and coming cohort of mapping professionals. Additionally, there's personal satisfaction in sharing one's own expertise with an opportunity to reflect on personal practices. As any professional can attest, it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day tasks of a career. Programs such as this help mentors re-energize their own career with new ideas discovered during the mentoring relationship. Professionals will also find they tend to rely upon the same familiar techniques the mentoring relationship can inspire you to dig into new tools or trends in the mapping community. And with each mentoring experience, mentors can improve their coaching and management skills. And by connecting with other NASIS members in the program, you will inevitably increase your visibility in the field. The primary focus of our mentoring program is providing benefits to the mentees. Mentees in this program will gain advice and experience with career planning. You'll have access to a mentor who has your best interests in mind when it comes to your career and will teach you tips and tricks gleaned over years of experience. Conversations with your mentor can spark new ideas, interests, or potential career pathways. You'll have a chance to voice your own experience and find satisfaction in sharing your hard-earned knowledge or skills. There's an opportunity to reflect on your own mapping practices and accelerate your career you will also walk away with enhanced self-confidence from your mentor's positive feedback. By participating and connecting with other NASIS members in the program, you will increase your visibility in the field. And you'll gain a greater understanding of the NASIS organization and its resources and opportunities. Of course, NASIS itself gets many benefits from the mentor program in addition to supporting its objectives. The program increases awareness of NASIS activities and programs among early career members. It also establishes and helps maintain relationships among its participants, expanding the growing network that it was intended to be. And it cultivates fresh perspectives and professional growth while encouraging engagement across the career divide. It's tempting to slip into the comfortable pattern of talking with the same familiar people at professional events. This program will connect experienced and early professionals, building a bridge over what's often perceived as an intimidating gap. 
The mentor program builds confidence in early career professionals, including and especially those of underserved populations, thereby helping cultivate a more diverse society. At this point, you're probably thinking, sign me up. At least we hope so. Let's now talk about how the mentor program pairs mentors with mentees. Applicants complete a short application survey, including their individual areas of interest and a few other general questions. The goal is to match as many commonalities as possible, while also trying to pair every mentee with a mentor. To eliminate bias in pairing, at least two sets of eyes review and approve the pairs before notifications are sent to participants. Any persons involved in the pairing process that are also participating in the mentor program are not permitted to select their own match. Participants are permitted to leave the program at any time. However, we ask that you please contact the mentor program coordinators so they can update their records. If a mentor has the resources and time for more than one mentee, they will be permitted to do so. But in the event the number of mentees exceeds the number of mentors, we will notify prospective mentees who aren't paired and encourage them to apply again next year, where their applications will be prioritized. So what's involved when committing to the NASIS mentor program? We ask that you commit to the full six month program running from March until August. During that period, we recommend six one-on-one -on -one virtual monthly meetings between mentor and mentee that last approximately 30 minutes. Pairs are welcome to meet as many times as fits their personal professional schedules, even if that means meeting more or less than six times. The key is for pairs to communicate upfront and agree upon the meeting schedule as best as they can from the start of the program. Just know that the more you contribute to this program, the more you are likely to benefit from it. Meetings can occur via Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, Slack Huddle, whatever works for the pair and is agreed upon. In the event either person cannot make a meeting, please give each other advance notice. Later, we will discuss the Mentor Program Handbook, a tool that can be used to help structure conversations. However, no topics or conversations are set in stone because no mentor-mentee relationship will be the same. Our expectation for the experience in every pairing is a non-judgmental, supportive, and confidential mentor-mentee relationship where experiences and expertise are shared for professional growth of both participants. We request at the conclusion of the program, both mentor and mentee individually complete the end program survey to provide insights to help enhance the program in the future. The program for NASIS members is completely volunteer run and free, so there is no cost to participate. Now, let's take a look at some characteristics of a successful participant. These factors will make your mentor program experience successful, whether you are a mentor or a mentee. All participants should establish open and honest communication while being careful to always maintain confidentiality, which is the key to trust and confidence in a mentoring relationship. You should prioritize communication with your mentor or mentee and be responsive to their messages on whatever messaging platform you decide to use. Finally, each mentor and mentee should behave professionally and in line with the NASIS Code of Conduct found on the NASIS website. Mentors are responsible for initiating first contact and scheduling meetings while taking into consideration the availability of the mentee. A successful mentor is a good listener, positive, enthusiastic, and supportive. They also budget adequate time for their mentoring meetings. Mentors share their professional and organizational knowledge and experience while serving as a sounding board and guide for career-focused conversations. A successful mentee gives schedule input to the mentor when meetings are scheduled, attends the monthly meetings, and provides advance notice of any schedule conflicts that arise. Mentees are responsible for preparing a topic to discuss at each meeting, although it doesn't have to be the focus for the entire meeting. Some suggested topics can be found in the Mentor Program Handbook. 
Mentees will be open-minded and receptive to guidance and constructive feedback from their mentor and respect the mentor's time. At the beginning of the mentoring relationship, mentees will share relevant skills and any goals or professional development plans they have. If they don't quite know yet what goals or professional development plans might look like for themselves, the establishment of these could be a proposed topic with the mentor. Let's talk resources. NASIS doesn't expect mentors and mentees to be alone in this program. We provide a few resources to help the process along. First, the mentor program handbook will be provided to participating pairs before their first meeting. The handbook is a resource packet including proposed meeting topics and a career action plan framework. For example, here is the handbook's suggested agenda for the first of six meetings. Consider these meeting topics as a framework to help you structure meetings until you develop a momentum of your own based on the experiences of the mentor and the needs of the mentee. As we've mentioned before, no topics or conversations are set in stone. Each pair will be unique and you can use the handbook suggestion as much or as little as you prefer. As mentees are responsible for preparing a topic to discuss at each meeting, there's a brief section in the handbook offering some suggested topics mentees could bring to the meeting. There is also a private NASIS Slack channel to share ideas, program communications, and questions across the group. Only mentors and mentees actively participating in the program will have access to this channel. The only additional members of the channel will be the mentor program coordinators to help provide any guidance or offer suggestions, and the NASIS Slack admins. If you have any lingering questions today or in the future, please reach out to the mentor program coordinators at mentoring at nasis.org or fire off a quick question to the group at large in the private mentor program Slack channel. At the end of the program, if you decide you want to participate again, feel free to register next year. We look forward to watching both you and the Nasis mentor program grow. All the best.